This is your Extreme Weather Outlook here on this Friday, the 13th of November. I'm meteorologist Daniel Kaiser. We have an eye on the tropics. Ada is finally post-tropical off the coast of the southeast and mid-Atlantic. Meanwhile, we have a lot of weather going on out west. Rain, snow, and high wind concerns as well. But this was the scene out in Charlotte, North Carolina on Thursday. A lot of rain across the mid-Atlantic fell during the day on Thursday, causing a lot of flash flooding across the region. Charlotte did see record rainfall with 4.62 inches of rain falling on Thursday. That makes Thursday the wettest November day in Charlotte history and the eighth overall wettest day in Charlotte history as well. This is what is left of post-tropical Ada. Ada helped to bring some of that tropical moisture northward into the mid-Atlantic yesterday. Ada will continue to move off quickly to the north and east as we go throughout the next few days. Not really a concern to the U.S. anymore. Meanwhile, out in the far eastern Atlantic, this is Africa. Up here is Portugal and Spain. This is Tropical Storm Theta. Not a concern for the U.S. whatsoever, and we should see it weakening as we head into the weekend. Meanwhile, we're also watching a wave down here in the Central Caribbean that could form into our next tropical depression at any time, looking to bring another round of very heavy rain to the Central America region as we go throughout the next several days. Meanwhile, out west, we are watching a cold front working its way eastward, an area of low pressure sliding across southern Canada, going to bring rain, snow, and high winds along with it. Numerous winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories in place. Some areas of the Cascades could see feet of snow as we go throughout the next few days, with the Wasatch seeing up to 20 inches of snow. We're also watching a lot of wind out west as well. Some of the highest winds in Reno today up to around 50 miles per hour. Meanwhile, we could be up to around 65 miles per hour tomorrow in Cheyenne.